What's that? It seems someone has lost their Joy-Cons? What's that? You lost your Pro Controller? What's that? You want to show off to your friends the cool things that you can do that they probably can do too if they only knew how to do it? But if they don't know how to do it, then they can't do it, so then you still can show off and get brownie points? What's that? You got a crush on a gamer girl and you want to impress her? Well, stay tuned, my friend, because this message is for you. So check it out. You have a mobile phone. We all do. Most of us do, at least. It's Android. Only the cool guys got Androids, of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And um, you, you want to play your Nintendo Switch. You want to use your phone to impress people. Play your Nintendo Switch with your cell phone. And this is the video for you. I just want to quickly, before we jump into all of the what haves and how you do this and all that and etc. etc., do a quick shout out to my sponsors. Thank you all for sponsoring my channel or becoming a member of my channel. I really appreciate it. And you guys really helped me to make a lot more content. These videos are because of my sponsors. So, again, make sure you guys show them some love and respect. Head over to some of their channels and subscribe to them and check out their content as well because I can guarantee you it will be worth watching. And without further ado, let's get over into the tutorial so today's tutorial is fairly simple and fairly easy to do all you have to do is go to your Google Play Store of course if you have an Android phone you gotta have a Google Play Store now while you're on the Google Play Store you're gonna go ahead and type in the application that you see me typing in on the screen right now um, what this application will allow you to do is essentially control your Nintendo Switch with your mobile Android device. No strings attached. Now the app does have ads and the ads can be a little obtrusive sometimes but if you don't mind dropping I believe it's $2.99 or $4.99 or $1.99. I don't know the exact price. It's pretty cheap. Um, to support the developers, you can get all ads removed out of this application. Also, this application works on any Nintendo Switch. Switch Lite, the new Switch revision, and also the old OG Nintendo Switch launch day um, Nintendo Switches. And what What's, what you're going to notice when you open this app up is the first thing you're going to see is that you can choose to use this phone as your left Joy-Con or your right Joy-Con or as a Pro Controller entirely. It's fairly easy, fairly simple to get set up. You're going to jump on your Switch, you're going to head over to the controller section, and you're going to click Pairing New Controllers. When you're at that screen, you're going to open up this application. You're going to allow it to cut on Bluetooth. It's going to send some sort of request to cut Bluetooth on. Even though you already have said yes to cutting it on, it some, for some reason pops up two times, which is absolutely fine. Click yes again, and then it will ask if you can connect to the Nintendo Switch. You click yes on that. Bada bing, bada boom. It's that freaking easy. You're controlling your Nintendo Switch with your cell phone that easy. Now I will note, sometimes you have to pair it multiple times with your console. This works with hacked switches, this works with non-hacked switches. This works with every single Nintendo Switch, whether it's hacked or not, and you will not get in trouble for this, because what they did was they wrote this application to be recognized as a full-blown third-party Nintendo Switch controller. So the console doesn't know whether you're using a phone or a controller altogether. Thank you. 
And what's the most exciting part about this device or about this um, application? The application allows you to connect a controller to your phone via a hard put input device, meaning that you need to have it plugged directly into the phone. This will not work over Bluetooth because remember your phone is connecting to the switch itself using the Bluetooth module already. So you can't use the Bluetooth to at the same time as using um, your Bluetooth as a, a controlling device, a device that's controlling um, another device. For some reason, it doesn't allow that to work, uh, on, at least on my phone, and I believe it would probably be the same on most of um, other Android phones as well. If you want to use a controller, say you have a PS3 controller, a PS4 controller, something along those lines, all you would do, get an OTG cable, plug it in through your phone, and bada bing, bada fucking boom, you're ready to go, it's that easy. You plug your controller in, and now you can play your Nintendo Switch almost latency free with any controller that has a hard put input device. Xbox 360 controllers, no problem. PS4 controllers, no problem. PS3 controllers, no problem. That old Windows PC controller you got that's sitting in a drawer that you never use anymore, no problem. Plug it directly into your phone, you're good to go. Now connect your phone to your Nintendo Switch, bam, you got an extra controller. Friends come over, y'all wanna play Smash Bros? You wanna sit down and have a good time? You got a couple, couple of little lads over drinking beers, taking shots, stuff like that but you don't got enough controllers for them bada bing bada boom well now you do now i will say if you don't have a controller to plug into your phone and you're going to be using the on school on screen touch controls keep in mind this is only good for games like this gaia because this, this Gaia is a tactical game. Um, it's also good for games that are turn-based, like um, things like that don't have a timer that runs out. This would be good for something like Final Fantasy X, uh, something Final Fantasy X-2, uh, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, any type of turn-based thing that doesn't require precise on-demand inputs being put, placed at a specific time, you're good to go. You're not gonna be wanting to play this with one of those rhythm games or games that are similar to Guitar Hero. You're not gonna to wanna to be using your touchscreen controls for that because it will definitely not work the way you want and you will be frustrated ripping your wonderful strands of hair out. And please don't do that because I don't wanna be held responsible for you ripping your strands of hair out. But anyways, that's all it takes, guys. It's that simple. What do I think of this? This is amazing. This is honestly awesome. You might catch me using this just to show off to someone, like I said at the beginning of the video, or you might catch me using this if maybe I really don't have enough controllers. I don't see that being a problem because my uh, my girlfriend, Mikado, she's got her own two Joy-Cons. I got my own two Joy-Cons, and then I have a Pro Controller as well. I don't see how one, two, three, four, five, six, Con six con five controllers excuse me can't be enough for for people to play with it's rarely a time that i'm going to be playing any game with five different people just saying just throwing that out there but this is for those of you that don't have as many controllers as me or you might not have a pro controller or you might just have left your controller at home and you're at school or you're on the bus or whatever and you just want to just pop out and just have a quick little match with someone just to burn up the time and you don't really care about lag and latency and all that then this is for you now i will say it's pretty spot on the minute you press a button it's happening it's not noticeable but then again remember joy cons and pro controllers already were a little have a teeny bit of a latency attached to them um, regardless so keep that in mind but um, that's all for today, guys. I just want to say if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn the notifications on if you want to tune into my live streams when I go live. I play Smash Bros. live. I play lots of games live. Luigi's Mansion, Resident Evil, shooters, uh, other types of games. I don't know. Whatever comes out on Nintendo Switch, I'm pretty much covering it. And pretty much most of my stuff is live streams or highlights from live streams. So be sure to cut on the notifications on the channel if you want to tune in when I go live. And take care of yourselves. Deuces. Peace.